to the news at three. Just about 20 years ago, two thirds of all American households gave to charity, according to an Indiana University study. Now that number sits at less than half. This year's Giving Tuesday numbers appear to be proving that point. Data shows roughly 34 million Americans participated in Giving Tuesday. And while it sounds like a lot, it's actually a 10% decline from last year. Here to talk with us more about gift giving in this holiday season is Mr. Jim Bush from the Winkler Group. Uh, Jim, thank you very much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Why do you think the numbers show that gift giving donations are going down? I, I think there are a couple of reasons. One is that I think nonprofits are having a more difficult time getting the attention of donors today. COVID, we had lots of attention. Now donors are settled back into the their regular routine. And because of that, it's harder to get their attention. I think too, there's also more competition for every dollar. And in terms of that competition, what do you mean? Like GoFundMe pages or things like that? Yeah, so not only are nonprofits competing against other nonprofits, and we never like to think that we're competing, but, but we really are, right? Because dollars are finite. Now, when someone needs something, they crowdfund it too. So people are giving directly to causes as opposed to giving through nonprofits sometimes. Is there a tax benefit to giving at this time of the year as opposed to maybe doing it earlier in the year? Yeah, there's always there's always a tax benefit, right? And so uh, that's that's the piece that that compels a lot of people to give at year end. It's because there is that tax incentive. A lot of times people are thinking about what they're talking to their financial planners and they're thinking about how do they minimize that tax? They can give directly to a charity and do that it makes a big impact, not just for the charity, but on their personal finances as well. All right, very good. And in terms of the immediate impact of uh, these financial gifts, are you seeing any trends as it re regards uh, year-end giving? Yeah, well, we're seeing well, Giving Tuesday, which you mentioned earlier, is what we're seeing reflected overall in giving. Giving is down. So giving over year over year is flat from 22 to 23. So that's concerning, right? And it can, and so the other trend that we're seeing is that donors are asking a lot more questions before they give. They think of them, donors of every size, think of themselves as investors. And as investors, they want to know impact. Mm -hmm. And where we're struggling is that nonprofits could just simply count on people to be generous. But today, those donors are generous, but they're asking questions and investing where they can see the most impact happen. Are they more skeptical now? I don't know if they're skeptical. I, I think they're more discerning. I like to say they're more educated uh, because you can get information everywhere on your phone, right? The things you used to have to go to a computer to do. Now you can get it on your phone and donors are educating themselves about that. And I think they're also, they're making harder decisions about the organizations they want to support. They used to support four or five every year. We know now that they're supporting two or three, which is why I think we're seeing those numbers down. Now, right now I can go on my phone or my device and I can send money anywhere in the world just like that. Just like that. Does that make it easier for fundraising or harder? I think it's both. I think it's easier because they can give the way that they want when they want. They're, they think of it, they can give. Where, where I think it, it is harder, though, is for organizations to have that impact, to get someone's attention. Because we're so connected all the time, you're constantly flooded with information. That's harder for nonprofits to get their point across. Again, I think that has an impact on why people do or don't give. So let me ask you for a little prognosis on the upcoming year. Yeah. What do you think the philanthropic landscape looks like in the year 2024? We're hoping it'll level out. Uh, it went down and we think that has to do something to do with COVID, the post COVID calls of that where people are getting back into their routines. We're hoping to see giving go up. The trends don't necessarily show that, but what we know can have impact is when nonprofits really get their message across. Donors today want, it, want authentic engagement. They don't want to be thought of as an ATM. They really want someone to connect with them and they want to understand where those dollars are going. They want to see the lives that they're touching. The personal touch. That the makes personal sense. touch. You bet. Jim yeah. Bush of the Winkler Group, thank you so much for joining us and talking with us about the science and the art you behind bet. giving. Yeah, thank you.